My name is Adam Porzak with Porzak Golf, taking your game to the next level and beyond. Today we have a really special treat for you. 11 year old Jaden Song. This guy swings it as well as anybody in the world. And, I, and I'm saying, telling you, anybody in the world, I mean it, anybody in the world. It's a great move, he's a wonderful kid, comes from a wonderful family. We're so excited to be working with him. We think you guys will pick up a lot of information that can benefit your game from this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy the video. You don't want to see your feet ever narrower than your shoulders when you're taking a full swing. You know, because even if the ball is a little forward, it's not enough forward of where it's going to make a difference, right? Now, I widen out this much. Now the ball gets over here, and now the club's going to be arriving with the amount of loft it needs to. But more importantly, you can move through it. Some of those swings over there, you, you made really good swings, but you were dead centered and right on top of the golf ball, so the club was going to descend right on top of it. And there's your thin shot, and there's your low shot. It's like if you watch me, buddy, and I'm centered like this, and I'm, and I'm right on top of the golf ball like this, well, I mean, no matter what I do, you know, it's going to be borderline a little thin, and it's going to be very low. Um, and that's where I just would recommend you just widen out, get the ball right, and let's get that feeling of uh, feeling like we're on that hill. Hey, Jaden, do you have a Sharpie in your bag? Yeah. Can you get it out real quick? You just won yourself a new alignment rod today, my man. It's my favorite one. It's the short one. I love this thing. It's just so compact. It's nice. It's clean. It's yours. I'm going to be marking this up and dialing you in. Okay. Perfect. Look at this, dude. It's like it fits the team, right? Not big. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Here it comes. Without getting any Sharpie on the shirt, of course, naturally. Always have respect for the outfits. Okay. Hey, Mike, can you do me a favor? Yes, sir. Can you make sure that stays in line with his, uh, his left shoulder, this, the Sharpie dot? Do not let that Sharpie dot move. I want because this guy needs to have it exact. Perfect. Okay, stay right there. One more. Okay. So, guys, what we did here, simple. You know, we just basically did outsides of the shoulder. We did the center dot right there. Okay, so this is really cool. So what Jaden's going to be able to do now, no excuses on width of stance now. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. You put that down. He has his shoulder width. Now, here, I'm going to toss this to you. So when you set up in here, dude, come on over here. I want you to look down at this. You got, that's your shoulder width. So, so with wedges, you could be kind of like, you could really be narrow and in, in, in there, kind of, you know, outsides of the feet to the outsides exactly. But give me like the nine iron would be more middle of feet. To, there you go. And then look at, this is the midpoint right here. So your ball position would be just ahead of that with a nine. And, and yeah, there, there you go. Nice. And see, that's significantly wider than what he had it um, before. And what we should see is a little bit more height for Jaden on some of these shots, which is the only thing I'd want to see better out of that ball flight. He's compressing all these. They're going tight, low, but low. And, and the ones you saw earlier, he started getting them airborne. This will help a ton, especially off these tight lies. Oh, dude, come on. Come on. Come on. How good was that? Good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I hate that. That was awful. Dude, hello. Man, you know what the hardest thing to do is just to be patient, you know? Just being patient. Patience is like the hardest thing. You hit like, you know, I'm not around. You hit like, what about what hit like three or four thin shots in a row? And you know what it's like when, when you're swinging as well as you do. You already feel the good shot. You already know what it feels like. You already know it mentally. You already expect it to happen. And then it doesn't. And then it doesn't again. And then it doesn't again. And now we're mad. <laughs> and unfortunately, that anger and getting more anxious makes it harder to do it right the next time and the next time. I didn't understand that when I was younger. But you're going to understand that, I think, a lot better than me. Um, sometimes you hit two, three bad shots in a row, and you know what you need to do? Take a deep breath, get the chapstick out, use a little chapstick, <laughs> you know, drink a little water, <laughs> just, just whatever, get a little water, 
step back into it and say, hey, what are my setup checkpoints? Here's my width of stance, which now you have. Here's my ball position. And your swing is, dude, connection's always the same. The left shoulder moving that left hand back. Making sure the body and hands are together, yes. And dude, there you can get after it. Love it. Yep. Okay, longer club. Longer club. Seven? We'll go odd numbers today. Okay. Uh, by the way, I used to do that when, um, when I was little. I don't know, I, this made sense to me. One day the odds, next day the evens. You know, maybe I came back for my two a days and went for my second practice session a day. Then I did the evens after I did the odds in the morning. I always thought it made sense. Covered the bag. Yeah, give yourself a decent line. So hey, now that we got this alignment rod in the ground, once again, you can, you know, I'll adjust this. I'll put it kind of back here for you, closer to the feet. Find your width of stance, so we should be outside those lines, right? Yeah, the ball then just creeps up a little bit farther. There we go. There you go, Jaden. Close, right? Close, but not quite. I would have told you on that one, just be a little bit more patient to the top, okay? And all I mean by patient to the top is just let your back get to the target and then go. Like this. Back to the target. And then go. Complete that swing. That a boy. Oh. Wow. I would just keep doing that forever. <laughs> forever. All right, my man. Can you give me just a little wider stance for me, buddy? That's what I want. There it is right there. Okay. Hey, I'd rather see that than the thin one. Yeah. Good compression there. Okay. So on this one, complete the backswing with the chest and the hands moving together. So get it back there, a little more turn. More turn, not more arms, more turn. That a boy. That a boy. That is Come on, look at this. Oh my goodness, dude. Remember how much more underneath he used to be? Mm -hmm. Look at this guy. All right, ready? This is big time for Jaden right here. See that club coming down the slot? Whoa. Hello. That's what I want. That's awesome. Do you know what we're looking for right here? See that club crawling down that forearm? What happens when it's underneath? What does it look like? What would the club be right there? Uh, like stuck? Stuck. And it would be where? Underneath the forearm, right? Yeah. So see how that one's around the forearm? Watch how it just crawls right down the hand. See how it never dropped? Yeah. That never dropping is compliments of just making sure that the arms and body are more together. It's fantastic. Very good job, buddy. Mm. That's just uh, exactly what I'm looking for. The, um, the most important thing when you understand when the hands and body go together, go ahead and set up. Like the ball? Yep. This is your shoulder plane. Your arms wouldn't lift up and bump this. You would turn it right underneath that. So don't hit it, but just go up to the top and rehearse it. You feel that? That's your hands being turned by your shoulder to the top. That's, that's, that's what we want to see. You do that, you get it even a little bit higher up. That nice young lady angel that you met over there really good player was hitting it a little bit lower than she wanted her hands were up this way a little bit higher than her shoulder plane and that caused the club and the hands to be a little bit more on top of it well you watch like Rory does a great job using his left shoulder and getting his hands really connected to his body's turn and that's that nice stretch that then brings it right back down in the slot what's nice about that is golfers who up here have to kind of go there golfers who are here can really rotate around here, okay? So that's when we talk about the chest and hands going together. That's what I mean. Just making sure your hands are going in the same direction your body's turning. You see that, buddy? Yeah. Good, good, good. Just as long as you know that, just as long as you can feel that, it should feel like, you stretch, like your hands are stretching out a little more back here. There you go. It's nice. I like that thought that we have. I think the wider stance, the ball position, making sure 
hands and the chest go together. That was, uh, I know we say this quite a bit because they keep getting better and better, but Gabe, that probably was the best of the day. <laughs> is, that, is that not the famous, like, Adam pours that comment right there? That's the best of the day right there. And that was like five minutes into the lesson, then the seventh minute comes. Well, that was the best of the day right there. And that keeps progressing as the hour goes on. <laughs> Hey, dude, are you been, have you been getting that perfect putting mat and just rolling putts like crazy? Yeah. How much fun is that, waking up, watching the Masters and just rolling putts? Yeah, I've been doing that. I've been, I think, first, mas first day of Masters, I woke up at 6, and then I turned it on while putting, and then my mom is sleeping. <laughs> and then she's under her blanket, just sleeping, and then, and then Bogey's just, like, go get, going after my balls. He, he's, he's trying to put it in the hole, yeah. but he's, he, he can't really do it. When we were putting on FaceTime the other night, Bogey wouldn't even let you putt. Yeah. <laughs> Bogey kept one of the, Bogey was in one of the ball every time. Well, it makes sense because we named him Bogey. <laughs> He's getting in the way of good shots. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. The next one's going to be Birdie, and Birdie's going to sit there just right by the hole and just wait for the ball to come in the hole, grab the ball out of the hole, bring it back to you. Yeah. No teeth marks in the ball. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I would say that your shots have overall gotten a lot better. Okay, let's just make sure we know why. Number one was setup. And you know, this is the most, this is the toughest, this is the toughest thing. I remember when I was your age and, my, and I showed up to a lesson and my dad would tell me like, hey guys, I just wanna say this real quick and then I'm gonna get out of here, just like your dad did. I'm just gonna say this real quick and then I'm gonna get out of here. I think you really need to dial in that setup. And I'd be like, dad, and my coach would look at me and go, hey, dude, you really need to dial in that setup. <laughs> and you're just like, man, darn it, Dad. Yeah, yeah, that's Dad's that's always right. Yeah, yep. You heard it. We got it on camera. Yep. Chris, we got it on camera. Dad's right. <laughs> you oh, get it? So there it was. I kind of I set you up on that one, didn't I? But no, here's the big thing. The big thing is this. <laughs> he, you know, he knew my swing, right? So... He was also a good golf mind. He really knew, you know? So when he said something, I just got old enough where I was like, man, there's probably some validity to that considering he cares so much about how I do. He, he's obviously not making it up. So let's just make sure that, you know, my goal was this. I wanted to make it so that I didn't want my dad to be able to say anything. <laughs> and the only way that that's possible is through, like, hey, this is your new trainer right here. You got your width of stance. You got your ball position. That's all you need right there. You just utilize that, that alignment rod. You sometimes don't even need this alignment rod. You can put the alignment rod behind you. You can go hit golf balls. You can come back here and you can go, okay, wedges. Okay, irons. Okay, driver and woods, you know, and, and utilize that. You can check your ball position, say, okay, here's my, here's my pitching wedge. Good, okay, I got it. Walk up here recreate that feeling and then we're and then we're set so this 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 little tool right here is going to be helpful for us buddy so it's going to be the ability to not have to uh rely on anybody to get you into the perfect setup you can just utilize it and we're gonna be good love that see that backswing's money i like that patient backswing body and hands together okay I mean, I, you know, yeah, nothing really to say there. <laughs> Dude, are you machining right now? Like full, full machine. That ball landed in the same ball mark that the last 10 landed in. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Let's see, we'll take a look. I got a good view here. It's pretty, it's pretty, isn't it? It's kind of a nice little, I gotta get the sound effects. A little wider for me, buddy.
One of the things I want to point out to you, Jaden, come here, come here, this is really important to talk about. All right, I hope you all enjoyed the video with Jaden. Unbelievable golf swing. You probably are all sitting there with your chin on the floor. It's a, it's a pretty impressive golf swing. We're super proud to be a part of it. And uh, please, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask us. Leave them in the comment section below. Also, click the link below to pick up a three free videos on distance. Really help you guys out. Enjoy your day.